Real Talk Fam. Okay, so today I have, like I've told you all um, several times, I'm from the Midwest, I'm from the Shy, and Philadelphia has their cheesesteak. Here we have our Italian beef. Mine is, and it's just shaved beef on a beautiful roll, fam. I've got sweet peppers. I've also added um, some mozzarella cheese. Um, you can get it with cheddar, provolone, whatever the store has that you go and purchase yours. I got this from Bona Beef. So shout out to Bona Beef. Take a look, fam. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on back. Let's eat the sandwich. And you know I've got a topic for today. The topic for today, fam, is the darkness is preparing you for your greatness. What? The darkness is preparing you for your greatness. You are more than welcome to have some of this. I, I, I don't know that I can eat all of this. I'm on try. Bam, I got some extra au jus here on the side. Got my fries. I got my water. Come to the table, have some of this, bring whatever you decide to bring to the table, and let's have some what? Real talk, fam. I'll be waiting. I'll see you in a minute. All right, fam. So I've got my sandwich here. I am going to cut it in half just so that it'll be easier to eat. And before I do anything else, you know what I'm going to ask you to do? That's right. Can you please pray with me, fam? Thank you, God, for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body, our bodies, for Christ's sake. Amen. Thank you, fam, because you're eating with me, either physically or in spirit. And I know that to be true. Okay, so, before we get into today's topic, let's grab, I'm going to grab, look at that. I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to baptize it again in some more gravy or au jus. Depending on where you are in the country, gravy or au jus. Mm. Mm. Some good stuff, fam. And I also got some fries. What can I say? We don't put mayonnaise or mustard or ketchup on the Italian beef. It's either dry or dipped. get down to the topic of the day. The darkness is preparing you for your greatness. That makes no sense, right? Right? I'm talking about nothing seems to be going right. You're trying, you're plucking away, you're doing everything 
you think you need to be doing. And nothing seems to be going your way. And you're sitting back like, what the what? Everything you touch seems to be going wrong. What am I doing? Is it me? Mm. It almost feels, fam, like you are at a complete crossroads. Or how about this? I'm in this relationship. I've prayed. I've been faithful. I've fasted. I still can't get that teaspoon full of act right. What am I doing wrong? What do I do? Fam, this is when you feel like you are in a dark place. You're going to your job every single day, doing the best that you can. It almost feels like there's no room for growth for you there. Every promotion is being passed up for you. Now, why looking at you? And fam, maybe you are. Again, let me tell you this. The darkness is getting you prepared for your greatness. Maybe you have been out of work for some time now. The bills are piling up. You don't know what to do. The eviction notices or the foreclosure notices or threats are coming in the mail. You don't know what to do. Well, let me reassure you that the darkness is the place where you are being prepared for your greatness. I know, sounds crazy, but stick with me. Stick with me and pick up what I'm putting down. All right? Now, I'm here to tell you that during these dark times, you're being cultivated for your growth. What? What's you on that? It's during these times you are going to be forced to move. You're going to be forced to make decisions that you never would have made under other circumstances. Um, this is the time your strength is going to be tested and you're going to be called to the challenge. What you going to do? What you going to do? Because again, remember, if you want something different, what do you have to do, fam? That's right. You got to do something different. Let's chew on that. There are times, fam, when we get complacent. And in that complacency, we lose track of where we are supposed to be in our goals for our life's journey. 
because we're complacent. Because we're okay with where we are. We're thinking everything is good. Why well, put forth any effort? I don't want to be tested. I don't want to learn nothing new. Um, this is working. Mm. Maybe it's time to kick him or her to the curb. Maybe. Maybe it's time to march into your boss's office and ask him, listen, what do I need to do to get promoted here? I'm doing a good job. You feel like you are. You're going to work every day. You're doing the best that you can. Why can't you, why don't you have, why do you feel like you can't go in there and ask him or her? What is it that I need to do differently in order to get that promotion? Maybe it's time to start your own business. Hmm? Maybe it's time to do something that you've always wanted to do. Maybe it is time to turn that hobby into a for real skill and educate yourself. And so you can take that and use that to move your life forward. Well, again, I just got some water. But let's drink to that. It is time for you to stay prayerful, to stay faithful, to see what it is that you are made of, to be strong. Because again, you won't know until your back is pushed up against the wall that I do know and you staying strong and re-evaluating and doing your something different and you can most of all continue to stay positive why because your attitude will determine your altitude did you hear me? Your attitude will determine your altitude. Let's chew on that. Bam. So fam, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that some of you all are gardeners. Some of you all just like being out there in your yards during the springtime, right? When you're planting your tomatoes, your onions, your lettuce, you all around your property planting your flowers to spring up because what last Friday, Friday, June 21st, was the official day of summer. But you planted this stuff in the spring. Where did you plant it? Did you put this stuff? And this stuff, meaning these seeds. Did you put these seeds in a cup of water and put the cup of water outside and say, oh, okay, because sunshine and rain will make things grow. But it's not until you take them seeds, fam, and you dig a hole in that dirt. And the dirt, fam, is the darkness. Without that darkness, 
these seeds will not cultivate into anything. You take those seeds, you put those seeds in that dirt, in that darkness, and nurture them like you're going to do with your life. When daylight comes, when daylight comes, this stuff starts sprouting out. Now, if I'm planting tomato seeds and I get tomatoes, tomatoes are the greatness. If I'm planting lettuce and I get heads of lettuce, bam, heads of lettuce are the greatness. All of these plants you planting around your house, once you put them in that darkness, when they come up and sprout out of the dirt, which is the darkness, those plants sprout out and reveal themselves into the greatness you already anticipate them to be. That's why you put them in there. And a lot of times, fam, that's why we've got to go through what we go through. Because he knows. He's got to put us in the dirt. He's got to cover us up. Let us cultivate so that we can sprout into greatness. That next level. That level he wants to take us to. Again, fam, I'm just going to finish my sandwich. I'm not going to keep playing with you. I've already told you. I just eat food. Mm. That's what I do. You let me know what you think. What are you going to do in the darkness? Are you going to fold? Are you going to shrivel up? Are you going to fight? Are you going to challenge yourself? What you going to do, fam? I don't know. You let me know. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, I look forward to seeing you my next video. I love you so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And guess what? Ain't nothing you can do about it. Bye. I'm gonna finish my book.